Before the opening bell, U.S. indices they closed mixed on Friday, this time with the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones closing on the upside, while the Nasdaq that managed to close in the red. Now, consumer durables and apparel, as well as capital goods and the banking sectors, those were the best performers on the day. This well, tech, hardware and equipment, software and services, and the retailing sectors, they happen to be the worst performers for the day. Now, taking a look at the data front, the consumer price index rising 0.4% in the month of August. That's versus at the 0.3% expected, while the U.S. monthly budget deficit jumped to $200.1 billion in August. This all as 64% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher on Friday. Now, after hours and during the weekend, NVIDIA announcing that the company has agreed to acquire processor manufacturer Arm Limited from SoftBank in a transaction valued at $40 billion U.S. dollars. Also in the headlines, we have Gilead Sciences. Now, Gilead Sciences announced that it has agreed to acquire pharmaceutical company Immunomedics for $88 per share, which values the company at about $21 billion. US dollars. Now, taking a look at today's expectations, there's no major earnings expected, but on the economic docket, we do have some activity. After the opening bell, 11 o'clock in the morning, we have the release of US consumer inflation. Now, taking a look at the markets, the S&P 500, that's where we begin. That sees a bounce and that's in focus. The relative strength index calls for a rebound. Long positions above 33.36 are favored with targets at 33.96 and 34.13 in extension. The Nasdaq intraday sees a rebound expected. This is while the Dow Jones intraday that happens to see further upside.